Hey, I'm Father Paul Sile. We were making some corn chips the last time I saw you. Now this is what they're supposed to look like, that nice beautiful color there. If they look this color, you wouldn't believe how bad they taste. I want to get these ones out of the deep fryer while I'm talking to you here. But one of the perfect things with uh, corn tortilla chips is a great spread that is really a classic and people either love it it seems or they hate it and it's made from the mighty avocado which is like butter isn't uh, avocados you don't even have to really slice them up you just oop, there we go okay hey hope there we go and there's a big pit in the center of an avocado and of course it's called guacamole I'm gonna put two avocados about eh, a third of a minced onion in there this onion was pretty strong I'm gonna take a couple of uh, Oh, about one whole sliced roasted uh, tomato. What makes it really have that kind of uh, Mexican kick a little bit is the uh, cumin powder. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon, maybe a half a tablespoon of cumin, uh, a little pepper, and we got some, let's see, what else do I need? Oh, a little garlic powder. Now you can use all kinds of different chili peppers, anything you like. There's all kinds of, there's serrano chilies and there's uh, these types of chilies and those types of chilies. Just go to your store, find and, and try to find what you like the best. I'm going to use some canned green chilies. You can use smoked chilies that are really, really good. So I'm going to put a little can of smoked or uh, regular, these are green chilies in there. Another thing that gives it that classic Mexican kind of flavor is cilantro. And cilantro looks like Italian parsley but it's nothing near there. It's got a very ethereal kind of smell to it, a wonderful fragrance. In fact, I remember first trying it, I didn't really like it that much, and it kind of grows on you. And then I need about four uh, tablespoons of lime juice. Now these are key limes, aren't they cute little things? Somebody said to me, what's the difference between a key lime and a regular lime? Uh, well, the size, basically. You've all probably heard of key lime pie. Well, that's this type of a lime, okay? So about four tablespoons of lime juice, a little bit more to taste. And then this is one that you're not going to use the food processor because you want a little bit chunky. You're going to mash it up with a good old potato masher. Ah. Now you may have to adjust this for seasonings a little bit. I didn't put any salt in there. You want a little bit of salt and you always want a little salt in, not too much, but just as a little bit of a, uh, to bring out the flavor. Where's my salt? There's my little kosher salt, just a little bit. And if you put that in a nice bowl, let me dump out these tomatoes. And I'm going to use my hand, but my guests aren't going to see that. <laughs> and there you have a beautiful homemade guacamole and homemade corn chips. And you are ready to greet your guests for with something really authentic from our Mexican and our Hispanic brothers and sisters. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's all fresh. It tastes great. I'm Father Paul Sile. Till next time. Cook fun and, and eat well and be well.